All right. You're in the shower. I was getting ready to take a shower. And you heard a knocking on your door? Yes. What did you do? I went to my son's bedroom to look through the window to see who it was. And who I was saw, it? It was a pest control man. Yes. Yeah. Pest control? Yes. An exterminator? Right. Correct. Of bugs? Excuse me? Of bugs? Bugs, anything? Anything. And so what did you do? Um, when I seen that it was him, I ignored it because I hadn't ordered no services for that day. So as I proceeded to go down the hallway to go back into the bathroom, I saw like a light in my living room. And when I went in there, he was in my apartment. Mm -hmm. But at the time when I went in there, I was naked. When and where? Into the living room because I had removed all my clothing already when I was getting ready for my shower. So you're suing him for all kinds of pain, suffering, and distress because he let himself into your apartment and saw you naked. Correct? Yes. Correct. Okay, Mr. Parker. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I was going to this apartment complex for my first time. We had just gotten the account, and they gave me a sheet of paper of a list of apartments to do. And... They told me to pick five apartments out of this, about 20 apartments on there to do, so I went about doing that. How did you get into these five apartments? So you picked five apartments? Right. How did you get into these five apartments? The management sent a maintenance person with me, plus they gave me a key. Halfway through doing these apartments, the maintenance person left. So I chose her apartment was one of the last ones I was to do, and I went to her door, I knocked, and I knocked, and I knocked, and no one would answer the door. Mm -hmm. So I assumed the apartment was empty, and I was to go in there, do my business, and get out and get gone. So I unlocked the door, opened the door, said pest control. I yelled it three times, and then about after the third time, she came through the hallway. She was not naked. She was? She was not naked. What was she wearing? She had a long T-shirt on and what appeared to be shorts. And... As I was trying to understand her, what she was trying to say to me, she was pushing me out the door. I was trying to explain to her what I was to do, and it came out to be that I had mistaken her apartment for another one that was in the same area. Let me understand this. Was her apartment number on this list that yes, you got? Yes, ma'am, it was. I also have a copy of the work order log. I had service. I had order for services six twenty ninety seven, and it's. It specifically says spiders outside only. Miss Miguel, the problem is, when I read your complaint and I read his answer, it appears to me that this gentleman was told that your apartment was one of those apartments that was to be serviced that day. Do you understand? Yes. So my question is, if that is true, then you are suing the wrong person. You should be suing your management company. The people who told him to go into your apartment. What are you suing him for? Correct. He was following instructions. Judge. On this work order law, Your Honor, it states the date of services that were supposed to be done that day. You mean this is the work order log that he had? This is the work order log that my management had. Not that your management, I want to see the one that he had. It's so the same I one. Will, what? It's, it's the, the same, same thing? One, Your Honor. Let me see. The one highlighted is my apartment, Your Honor. Okay. Sir, I'd like you to look at this. This is what your employer submitted. Right. I'd like you to take a look at that piece of paper, please. And I have a copy of, of it. Does it not indicate that her apartment was only to be serviced outside? Yes, that's what I'm saying is on the line above it, it says roaches. Whenever I went to do that, it was a, I was a busy day. And I had misread the line above it to what I was spraying for. No, you didn't tell her. me that before, sir. Well, I should have. I'm sorry. No, you didn't tell me that before. Before you told me that you would receive a list, you went into the list, and it turned yeah, out to this be... This is what I was received. So you went into the wrong apartment. Right. You, the management company, didn't tell you to go into that apartment. You they, went into the wrong apartment. They told me to pick five apartments from this whole sheet. Right, but they her didn't. apartment says spiders outside. Right. So what'd you go inside for? Because I misread the line above. Because you it. made a mistake. Okay. 
That's simple. Right. Now, you made a mistake. So you're not suing his boss, who clearly has deep pockets, much deeper pockets, because you could have. You understand that. Yes. That was your mistake. Yes. He made, he made a mistake. Now, is this a $5,000 mistake? Because that's what you're suing for? You're going to have to explain to me why this was a $5,000 mistake, Ms. Miguel, because I can see an apology and some sort of minimal compensation, but quite frankly, I don't see where this mistake, and it was clearly an honest mistake, is worth anywhere near $5,000. Your Honor, we're all human. I know we all make mistakes, and I mean, my heart's not that cold, you know, to say, okay, you made a mistake. But when he went in, and I told him, what are you doing in here? He told me that he had a work order, you know, to spray for roaches. I go, I don't have roaches. You need to leave. He told me, no, you signed a waiver with your manager that I can come in here. And I told him, I never did no such thing. I asked him to leave about three or four times, Your Honor, and he would not leave. I had to take the, the master keys myself from the lock, and I threw them, and I shoved them out my door. And I told him, I will meet you in my manager's office because he refused to leave my home. I told him, I live here, and I'm telling you to leave, and he wouldn't leave. Well, you understand, Ms. Miguel, that he honestly believed that he had a work order to do your apartment. You understand that? I mean, he wasn't making that up. He honestly believed that he had a work order. He misread a line. How many times did she ask you to leave, sir? As far as I remember, I heard maybe once or twice. Well, why didn't you leave right away? Because I was trying to understand what she was wanting me to do. She wanted you to leave. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> but she was speaking so fast, I was having trouble understanding her. How long have you been working for this exterminating company, sir? Uh, approximately five to six months. How much do you earn a day? Uh, about $50 a day. Do you have family? Yes, ma'am. What kind of family do you have? I have a wife and a young child. How old's your child? He's going to be a year in September. How much money do you bring home a week? Approximately two hundred dollars. Is that correct, sir? Yes, it is. Doesn't sound like a lot of money. Hey. He. The exterminating company—they make probably a lot more than fifty dollars a day, right? Yes, we do. But you didn't sue them. You sued him. I think he made an honest mistake. I think he probably didn't act appropriately right away because he couldn't understand you. You were very upset. Should have left right away when she told yes, you to leave. Yes, I understand that. You understand that? Yes. It's going to cost you two days' pay. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Judgment in this case is for the plaintiff in the amount of $100. That's all. Parties are excused. You may step out.